What's up fam? Welcome back to I think I like cars and you can see it's a beautiful day in South Africa. There's no electricity for now but I feel like that's when I get to do these nice tutorials. So today I finally have the courage to go and scan my car using this because you know when you scan your car of course it's just like going through your girlfriend's phone or a boyfriend's phone definitely you're gonna find some hectic stuff right there but let's do it. Yeah, finally back in the whip and I'm gonna be scanning my whip today which is my car I'm gonna use this OBD 11 all right so I mean we're gonna keep it simple I'm just gonna see what errors this car has and if you want this OBD 11 the link is in the description below so I'm gonna put my key in the ignition this is my ignition uh-huh now everything is on okay here's my OBD 11 goes under the whip I think it goes like this yes so just under here once the light flashes you know it's on now I'm gonna take our Android phone you can use an Apple as well I see they've released a software for that I'm gonna open up my OBD 11 make sure you're connected to some Wi-Fi or network because this does need some data to work okay so once you got your obd app 11 open just click on connect and then you can click on obd 11 then just wait for it to connect give it a couple of seconds show so once it's done connecting click on scan it's not just gonna scan everything on your car to see what faults you have so i'm gonna click on scan it does take some time to scan like around a minute or two so just be patient with it i will just fast forward you might hear some signs going up when this busy scanning but they will disappear Okay, cool. So after around, let's say, five minutes, then it says it found three faulty control units. Okay, let's go inside. Let me just zoom a bit so you can see what's inside this. Click on here, three faulty control units. If you hold, it's going to reset, but we want to see them first before they reset. Okay, so let's check on the engine. There's no error at all. That's great. Transmission, there's no error. And how do I see because of the green? know the green uh, number there so just keep on going down oh air conditioning there's red here I mean that there's an error and I understand this because my air conditioning pipe burst so currently my air conditioning is not working so this is hundred percent right even if I clear it, it's gonna come back so I'm gonna leave this one go back and then let's scroll down and see okay uh, headline headlight regulation so this headlight regulation too i don't know what this is but let me check so i'll i'll do more research about this headlight regulation and see what this is for so yeah man my car is not bad in the radio let's see maybe since i put in an aftermarket radio there could be something here so let's see and go to info no we have to go to faults actually not info or faults and let's wait for it and it says rear bass speaker rear trouble speaker and aux in so there's open circuit there i'll have to check this out and if you click on g here it will definitely search this automatically for you on google so let's go back again now let's go back to then yeah that's it and if you want to clear your faults all you have to do is just go back and then you click hold to clear the faults and it will clear the faults for you i'm not gonna clear my faults now because as i said some of them i gotta fix them first so yeah that's it for this video thanks you for watching thank you for watching if you have any questions put them in the description below hit the sub button